We've been building the Dark Arrow 1 and along the way we've given a behind the scenes look into how we do everything. We've shown everything ranging from design and analysis to making molds, making parts, and making full assemblies. Every time we show our CAD models we get asked, what CAD software are you using? We originally started out using SOLIDWORKS, but along the way we ended up switching over to Onshape. We thought it'd be good to tell a little bit of the background story on how we made that switch and why we've stuck with Onshape to this day. Going back to the beginning, as I mentioned, we started off doing a lot of our design and concept work for the Dark Arrow 1 all in SOLIDWORKS. The way it works with SOLIDWORKS is you purchase a license and then you install it on your computer. We actually went and built up an entire computer specifically to run SOLIDWORKS. We still have that computer to this day sitting right there and it's what we used to run our router. Our plan was we were just going to have this one dedicated SOLIDWORKS machine to do all our design work on. But you can see if we were going to have three people trying to share it and all do design work on this computer it was going to become a bottleneck for our design process. We could have built up three computers and had three SOLIDWORKS licenses and then created some sort of network in between the computers to allow us to all work on the same design and share files but it would have been really costly and tricky and potentially error prone so this was kind of a big problem for us. Around the same time we came across this new CAD program called Onshape which was all cloud based. We wanted to check it out so we all created trial accounts in Onshape and started playing around with the software and we pretty quickly realized that Onshape had some unique features that we thought would be really useful both in the initial design stages for the Dark Arrow 1 and long term for our company. The first and biggest benefit we saw with Onshape was that it was 100% cloud-based. This solved a couple of the problems that we were running into with SOLIDWORKS. Being cloud-based meant that we weren't tied to CAD workstations. It actually meant that we didn't really even need true CAD workstations. It also meant that we didn't have to worry about losing any of our data if we ever had any kind of hardware failure since all our files and our design would be stored in the cloud. Beyond that, the way it was set up we could all work on the same design simultaneously without having to worry about accessing the latest version of our files. We could access our files anywhere that we had an internet connection. This has been extremely useful for us. Let me give you a few examples. It was really nice having access to our models at the AirVenture Air Show where we exhibited our progress in the Dark Arrow 1 prototype. We were able to quickly and easily explain design details to potential customers by running Onshape on a tablet. It's also useful to be able to access your models through Onshape's mobile app when you're at the store trying to buy some tools or materials that depend on a dimension in your design that you can't remember off the top of your head. Another great benefit of accessing your models remotely is if you have some downtime while you're traveling but you still want to get some work done. Another thing we liked about Onshape's cloud features was its ability to share view only versions of our designs with customers. We saw this as a way to more clearly illustrate to builders how everything goes together. Besides the cloud-based benefit, we saw some advantages in the actual architecture of the software that we found particularly well suited for modeling our design. I thought a good way to show some of these advantages would be with our CAD model for our horizontal stabilizer assembly, which is the carbon fiber component sitting right back there. This is where the horizontal stabilizer sits on the full aircraft. It's shown shaded in red and the horizontal stabilizer provides pitch control and pitch stability to the aircraft. This is a closer look at the actual horizontal stabilizer which as I mentioned before is built from carbon fiber. You can't see it here because it's fully assembled but there are a lot of internal pieces in this assembly so I'm going to use the CAD model to show the internals which look like this. So as you can see in the model there are a lot of pieces and components between the ribs and shear webs and hinges and then the outer skins. This would be pretty tricky to model in SOLIDWORKS with the way the geometry of them is all interdependent and then trying to keep track of all the part files would have just been a mess. But Onshape has a nice way around this called a part studio. This is what a part studio looks like. It's basically a workspace where you can create a bunch of parts that all share geometric relationships. This was really useful for us as we were developing this internal rib structure because we knew we might want to change the position and layout of the structure as we optimize and revise the design. And ultimately we did end up making some revisions along the way. The last reason for why we switched from SOLIDWORKS to Onshape that I wanted to touch on was the user interface. This is more a matter of personal preference but we felt that Onshape was just nicer to look at and interact with. 
This might not seem like a big deal, but when you spend hundreds or thousands of hours interacting with your CAD software, it's really nice to have something that's easy on your eyes to look at. I'll show a quick visual comparison between the two programs with a model of one of our rudder bell cranks. Here you can see the two programs side by side with SOLIDWORKS on the left and Onshape on the right. Even though many of the tools for modeling and sketching are similar between the two programs, we like the layout and look of all the tools in Onshape a little bit better. So those are the main reasons behind why we switched from SOLIDWORKS to Onshape. It's been over three years now since we've made the switch and we've been really pleased with the software. If you're thinking about getting a CAD program because you want to design or build something, definitely recommend going over to onshape.com and creating a trial account so you can test and see if you like their CAD software. I'll leave a link to their website in the description of this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.